Hey, Hi. what's up, everybody? <clears throat> Ollie, come on. <clears throat> this is my dog, Ollie, and he's being a little brat. <clears throat> but whatever. Ah. Uh, hello. Um, All right, so I just got lost on track there because of that. Yeah, Okay. Sorry. And because it was a, such a struggle to get. Ollie. I know, I know. He can be a little pain in the ass. All right. But, um, we are here. To give you our WWE Money in the Bank 2015 pay-per-view predictions. Now, we have a little story about this because last year, around this time, yeah, you were in this... Well, you weren't in this video. Yeah, right? you know, the one uh, the before it. Yeah, the one... He was in the Money in the Bank 2014 predictions. And I am going to put it in the annotations right here. Um, where the sun, where like my, the sun is... Yeah. Um, oh yeah, and if you don't, those of you who don't remember, um, I'm God from a previous video. Well, yeah, you haven't seen it yet. Well, because, I, I know. I mean, by the time it, you, it's in the it's in the works. Yeah. Uh, hang on, my dog wants to leave my room. Give right. me a second. But yeah, we're here to give you. Can I keep talking? Yeah, sure. We are here to give you our um, WWE Money in the Bank 2015 pay per view predictions. This pay per view is going to be live tomorrow night. Um, at 7 o'clock p.m. on the pre-show. If you watch the pre-show, but if you're not going to watch the pre-show, then you, it's live at 8 o'clock p.m. Um, and this pay-per-view is not only going to be is going to be live on the WWE Network, which is like a Netflix for yeah, I wrestling know. fans. You've been on it before. Um, and this is and uh, if you're a new subscriber to the WWE Network, you get this pay-per-view for free. Mm. You know, for free. And if you're an idiot like me, you've been subscribed since day one, and you have to pay only nine ninety nine for the pay per view. Really, that sucks. Well, it's only nine ninety nine, but yeah. I don't get it for free though. Yeah. <laughs> but if you're an idiot, um, or if you don't watch wrestling like moi, no, no, um, can you like add an effect where like everyone's like boo? <laughs> I can't do that, but yeah, I, I well, let me let me try. Yeah. Hold on, let me try. I just, I just never got interested in. I tried, but oh yeah. Uh, yeah, but yeah, um. I don't hate if it. If you're an but. idiot, um, you can buy the pay per view for fifty nine ninety nine. Mm. That, that sounds be, like a great deal. Like, that's around, yeah. You know, it's not nine ninety nine, not for free. But if you don't want to, you know, get it on the network, if you don't want to, you know, uh, buy it for the on the pay per view, you can watch it on Sports Lemon or any other streaming site for free with shitty quality. Mm. <laughs> so it's just like. You, there's tons of ways you can see this pay-per-view, so you have no excuse to yeah. not watch the pay-per-view unless yeah. you have other things to do in your life. Yeah. Um, yeah. No, I, like, you're what, you're, um, like, some guy's wife is giving birth. He's like, honey, like, like, I've done everything for you for the past nine months. Let me have this. And she's like, but your child's being born. Honey, shut up. <laughs> shut up. I need to watch this. I will, I will look at that baby. If, if I go there now, I will throw you and that baby out the window. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. But um, there's a total of seven matches on the show. Only six of them is going to take place on the actual pay-per-view. Because on the pre-show, we're going to get a match on the pay-per-view when we'll get there. When we get there, uh, to be honest with you, though, this pay-per-view... It's kind of funny. I move my hair like this and not in a yeah. that way. By the way, since to, in my opinion, though, this pay-per-view um, doesn't... It, like, it looks good... But it doesn't really have any hype behind it because they've only had two weeks of build for this pay-per-view. Um, again, they've been having pay-per-views every two weeks. They had one um, for payback in May, and then they had two weeks later they had one for Elimination Chamber, and then now we're getting this pay-per-view tomorrow night. So just like, uh, you know, this has proved you need two weeks, you need more than two weeks to build up a feud in wrestling. It's just, just the case. Um Oh, um, got one of us who want to do the predictions now? Yeah. But, uh, also another thing is, uh, we, you want to be in the review tomorrow, too? Um, we'll see, we'll see. Yeah, let's see if you, because you might watch the pay-per-view with yeah, me. Yeah, I know. You're going to watch some matches. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm going to watch some matches, just not all seven. Yeah. Okay, so, um, let's just get to the, uh, predictions, I'll talk about them. So, for the, starting with the, and I have to kind of uh, over-explain it because he doesn't know a lot about wrestling, right. but he knows some because he watched some with me this week. Yeah, I mean, um, I, he, this guy's my cousin, so I've basically, you know, I've, I've seen him a lot, so I, you know, I could know Well, for the past week, you've seen me a lot anyways. Well, I know. Um, oh, I mean, I'm just saying, like, you've been into this stuff for a while, so yeah. I, I know a decent amount. Okay. So, we're starting with the pre-show, or the kickoff, is like they like to call it. Yeah. We have R-Truth 
versus Ken Barrett. This match has no hype behind it. Um, it's just a match randomly thrown on the pay per view. I'm just gonna say our truth. Yeah, and remember, this is the guy that thought he was in the yeah, money I, in the bank. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm I'm yeah. wanting to win. Um, um, I think he will. Yeah. Um, I gotta tell you something else though about him. Yeah. So um, he did a commentary for a match on Thursday. They call that show SmackDown. Okay. And Ken Barrett was in a match. And he still he he knows he's in a, the, like a match on the pay per view, yeah. but he still kind of thinks it's the ladder match. Nice. So I want something to happen where like the ladder match goes on. He comes out, thinks he's in the match, and yeah. then he's like the commentators and stuff come out and say, yeah. "You're not in this match." Yeah. So basically, what they've done before. Yeah. Um, it would be kind of funny if they did it on the pay per view. Yeah. Uh, but for um, my prediction, I I, I don't I don't I don't think that's gonna happen. But for my prediction, I'm gonna go with uh, it's kind of a tough one. I I I'm going with our truth. I'm gonna go with Ken Barrett because I think they've been trying to give him like some sort of like they call it a push, you know. When yeah. They try yeah. To I, I know what a push is. Yeah. You know, they, I mean, I didn't really, I don't know like that much of his in wrestling, but I can kind of you know make an assumption. Yeah. But yeah, they, they've been he's been on a losing streak too, so I yeah. think he needs to get a win. So I'm yeah. gonna go with Ken Barrett. Um. Um. All right. Second match. We're not going on. By the way, we're going by here because these are like the ma- These are like the big matches, so I like to start on number seven. All right, sure. All right, so number seven, we have Nikki Bella defending the Divas Championship against Paige. Uh, I'm going to tell you the feud because I'm going I'm to tell you something weird. Yeah. So in April, mm-hmm. was it? Yeah, it was April. Um, Nikki Bella was a bad guy, was, you know, a heel. Yep. And then all of a sudden, her, si- her sister Brie Bella was a heel too. Okay. All of a sudden, out of the blue, she turned face for no reason. All right. <laughs> and then um, she was face for like a month. Right. And then uh, randomly out of the blue, uh, earlier this man. month she turned a heel again for no reason. <laughs> All right, well I'm gonna. Make <laughs> How does that sound for a build? And that's there's no build up to the match, by the way. Yeah. Just All right, well match. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna say she loses to Paige. Do you think Paige? Yeah, will I win? think Paige will win. Wow, Paige was in a sit match last year. You picked her to win last year. Oh, I did. Yeah. So oh, wow, I'm surprised you remember that. Yeah. Well, I just watched the video, remember? Oh yeah. Um. um but yeah, I'm gonna go with Nikki Bella to retain the championship because they've been counting down. Like she's had this championship um, almost 200 days. It might have already happened already. So I'm gonna say that she goes 200 days with the uh, Divas Championship. I'm gonna go with Paige just because um, she. I think she's gonna beat her. Um, she's been going back and forth. I think you know that losing her will finally make her choose a side. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, I hope so. Maybe they'll just randomly turn her like. Yeah. No, no. She comes in every every other day. Like, um, and actually, there was a diva, by the way. Her name was Alicia Fox. And yeah. then, like, in 2012, she would change every week. Really? Man, yeah. that's... Wow. <laughs> well, every ma- actually, sometimes she, cha- she changed in one week. Because one time they had a match on Raw, which was on Monday. And she was a bad guy. She was a heel on Raw. Yeah. And then on SmackDown on Friday, because it was on Friday at the time, she cha- she was a- she was face. Yeah. Now, if only that guy pushed... Um, if only the guy pushed her into the train tracks, huh? Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, I want to but, talk but you to wouldn't have had any physical damage. But the, know, this wasn't WWE; it was problem. a company called TNA Impact Wrestling. I want to give you thoughts about that. It was, his name was James Storm. Pushes Mickey James right into the train tracks, and uh, well, if you've guys seen Two and a Half Men, it sure worked great for Charlie, huh? Oh yeah, well, then, uh, and quite literally everyone who's else who has been killed by a train. <laughs> yeah, if only. All right, so we get the next match. We have uh, Ryback defending the Intercontinental Championship against Big Show. Uh, the match is that they're both big guys because, you know, Big Show is Big Show, and they call yeah. Ryback the big guys, so this is um, just two big guys going at it. Okay. Uh, I'm actually looking forward to this match. Um, I think if they had a little bit more hype. If they have hype, they just need more hype for me to look forward to it, if that makes sense. Um, who do you pick, Ryback or Big Show? Uh, I'm going to say Big Show. Okay. You don't, don't you know? I think you know the Big Show, right? A little bit. Yeah. So you're gonna pick Big Show wins. Yeah. I'm gonna go with Ryback to, to retain his championship because he just won the title yeah. like two weeks ago. It's funny how everyone we pick so far, it's been the opposite of each other. Yeah. Yin um, Yang. Oh my gosh! I have to tell you about these guys. Oh, so we have the joy. New Day members, Big E and Xavier Woods, defending the WWE Tag Team Championships against the Prime Time Players and. Um, they uh, that consists of Darren Young and Titus O'Neil. Um, I don't like the New Day. Um, the bad guys, but they just suck. Right. I mean, the fans even don't. They they just no. They just suck. I can't. I have to like. They're they're pretty much like a religious choir kind of. But okay, automatically don't root for either of them. 
the prime time players are pretty good though. Um, is it, but is there an, um is there any way for them to n- n- knock each other out? What do you mean? No, I'm i just kidding. Like like making a, I made a joke saying. Like, oh yeah. Is there any way they can both lose? <laughs> Um, like the prime time players are pretty good. Yeah. Um, there actually is a way they can both lose. Actually, they can just have like a no contest where they don't win or lose. But yeah, you have to pick a winner. We do. That's how we do it here. Um, um, this is how we do it. <laughs> so we're gonna find a winner. So um, yeah, I'm actually the prime time players have been pushed really well. They uh, you know, I'm enjoying them. I've enjoyed their reunion together. Um. But the New Day is just going to win because the WWE wants to push these guys for some reason. You know, you, how weird is it? The fans don't like these guys, right? But they're just going to push them anyways. Yeah. How weird is that? I don't know. I'll bet over the hated. <laughs> so what do you pick? New Day or Primetime Players? Um, Primetime. Okay. Um, now I'm going to skip this match because that's going to be like the main event. So I'm going to go right here. Okay. Yeah. Uh, okay. Uh, i got to get out of that. Um, uh, uh, can we do the second match last, though? Yeah, sure. All right. He's... Uh, Alright, so we have Dolph Ziggler versus Neville versus Roman Reigns versus Randy Orton versus Kofi Kinston. Kofi Kinston's in that New Day group, by the way. Alright. And the wall. He's really, not gonna win. Um, he, really, he he is like the tag team champions with Big E, but they do like this three board rule, which yeah. is mean like any of them can just defend the tag titles. Right. Any two of them, by yeah. the way. Uh, versus Sheamus versus Kane and remember that Money in the Bank contract match yeah. where you, if you win you get a yeah. shot at the WWE World Heavyweight Championship um, now um, yeah I already know who's for a fact who's gonna win but I'm just gonna you you pick first I'm just gonna say Kane oh you can pick two by the way uh, Kane, or Kane and um, I guess Dolph Ziggler okay I'm gonna pick uh, either Roman Reigns um, Roman Reigns is definitely winning, by the way. They've been really pushing him to win, so he's yeah. definitely... Again, I don't know, like, yeah. I don't know anything about, like, what's been going on. I, yeah. like, I know, like, a, a little bit, but very, that's even yeah. then. Roman Reigns is definitely winning. They've been really pushing him to win, you know. Uh, he just main evented WrestleMania. Okay, well, if you, you know, he told me that, that would have been great. Oh, yeah. Who knows, uh, maybe there could be a, you know... And the words of a terrible director, by the way, who ruined one of my favorite childhood shows, was a twist. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, I'm gonna hit. Oh, I'm gonna go with Sheamus. They've been pushing Sheamus too. Yeah. Sean, um, off you hear this? You ruined last year. Man. Okay, so we're, we're doing the number four now. Okay. Yeah. So we're just gonna. I mean, this is gonna be the main event, but we'll. I'll go with this. So we have Seth Rollins defending the WWE World Heavyweight Championship against Dean Ambrose in a ladder match. Uh, I've, enjoy, I've actually enjoyed this feud. These top guys have had a feud since the last pay per view predictions we did. Pretty much, they haven't been feuding like the whole time. It's been like yeah. off and on. Yeah. Um, but it's been pretty good. Um, what do you pick? I know um, you don't know anything. Do you want me to tell you a little bit more about the feud? Or no, that's fine. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna say Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins retains. I'm gonna go with the same. I'm gonna say, no, actually, I'm gonna go on a, yeah, keep, keep the direction of uh, us picking the No, but guys. this, I'm gonna say, I'm, I'm gonna go, I want to shake it up. Alright. I'm gonna, I'm not, it's predictable that Seth Rollins wins. All right. But I'm going to, um, what's it called? What, um, sh- change it. My what a favorite. twist. The yeah, twist. Um, but a good twist. Yeah, alright. So I'm gonna say Dean Ambrose wins, and you Dean know this Am- is a roll. This is a whatever. whatever. Yeah. All right. So a twist. I'm gonna say Dean Ambrose wins the championship in the ladder match, and he's gonna be obviously he's gonna be all exhausted. Yeah. I think you can see. Yeah, they're, they're both gonna be pretty. And then out. Roman Reigns, because they've been they Dean Ambrose and Roman Reigns are like friends on TV okay. and stuff like that. So Roman Reigns will cash in the Money in the Bank contract if he wins the match, obviously. Yeah. But I'm just gonna say, assuming he's winning the match. Yeah, I'm just gonna um, say that's rolling just yeah. because you know everyone expects him win. So yeah. It's gonna... But Roman Reigns will cash in, turn heel, and beat Dean Ambrose and become the new WWE World Heavyweight Champion. So I'm gonna go with that. See if that happens. Okay. All right. So now we have the main event: champion versus champion, the rematch: United States Champion John Cena versus NXT Champion John Kevin. Cena. Kevin Owens. I'm just saying, John Cena. Okay. Um, Enough said. End of video. No, I'm, I haven't given my pick. John Cena. I think you know who I'm picking. Who? Well, Kevin Owens. Let me. Because, oh, gee, oh, gee, I wonder why Owens. <laughs> but uh, I want Kevin Owens to win because last time he beat John Cena fair and square, no oh. bullshit, in the middle of the win. Hmm. And I'm gonna say he does it again. They're gonna really push yeah. him. This was if he imagine how good it would look yeah. if he beat John Cena twice fair and square. <laughs> I mean, I just say John Cena because other than yeah that one, he you know it's, he's John Cena. Yeah. 
I mean, I can see them. I can see why they would. Pull. This match, this match may not happen. There's a rumor that Kevin Owens got suspended, but it still says the match is, you know, confirmed yeah. to happen. So yeah. I'm just gonna assume it's gonna happen. Yeah, and I'm um, just, and I'm just saying that. Um, yeah, you know, okay, I, I so, can see, uh, I can see why both would, could win, but I'm, yeah. you know, it's John Cena, so I'm yeah. gonna say he wins. Okay, so uh, I, I'm, I'm thinking we do a repeat because we kind of talked for a while. So. Yeah. All right, so um, so I, for the first match, we'll, can we just go down the list? Uh, let's just do the way we did it. Before. All right. All um, right. So our truth, King Barrett. Um, I said our truth. You said King Barrett. Yeah. Nikki Bella, Paige for the Divas Championship. I said Paige. I said Nikki Bella. Uh, Ryback, Big Show, and the Continental Championship. I said the Primetime Players. No, you're, you're, oh, Ryback, sorry, Big sorry, Show. Sorry, wrong one, wrong one. Yeah. Uh, um, I said Big Show. I said uh, Ryback. Uh, New Day versus Primetime uh, okay, Players. Okay, you know, that one I said. Yeah, Primetime Players. I, I don't want to pick the New Day, but they're going to win, so. Um, the ladder match, Ziggler, Neville, Reigns, Orton, Kinston, Sheamus, and Kane. Who, I who? said Dolph, Ziggler, and Kane. And I said Roman Reigns and Sheamus. Uh, Rollins and Ambrose for the world title in the ladder match. I said Seth Rollins. I said Ambrose, Reigns, cashes in afterwards and turns heel. Uh, Cena, Owens, you said, said Cena, and I said Kevin Owens. So, that's pretty much it. All right, see ya. Let's see how long this took, actually, because we're not, well, it didn't, actually, it didn't oh, take that. 16 minutes. It's not too long. Um, Remember one, we made like a half hour, but like half of it was just us talking nonsense. Yeah. But, um, that was on the SpongeBob video. You can, I'll put that in the annotations over there. Um, and, uh, but that's pretty much it, guys. Um, overall, I know you're not a wrestling fan, but since yeah. you're going to be watching part of these the matches oh, yeah. is going to be watching. Yeah, I mean, matches. once I once I watch it, I you know I, I enjoy it, I like it, but yeah. you know I'm just not going to go out of my way to you know go see yeah. it. I mean, like the mat, uh, the ladder match looks good. The title match yeah. looks good. I mean, yeah, there are a lot of great matches. They're just, just you know I don't hate they, it. They should have like they they need they needed two weeks is not enough to yeah. hype a match. Um, well, obviously a money in the bank ladder match because there's yeah. not really much you can do to yeah. hype that match. Rollins and Ambrose has been hyped up since last year, so that's fine. Kevin yeah. Owens, John Cena, I'm really hyped for that. That's the match I'm actually I'm looking forward to seeing the most. Uh, Ryback, Big Show, that needed more time. Yeah, Nikki Bella, Paige. They, to be honest with you, no, they, they don't really give a crap about the Divas. They don't need yeah. them, so it doesn't really matter. I, I personally don't. You know, it's like Diva, whatever. Yeah. Um, but that's pretty much it, guys. I'm looking forward to um, talking to you. can click on the bottom down, down below to subscribe in the left-hand corner right there. And um, we'll be back um, to give you our review at some point. Well, tomorrow, obviously. Yeah. But it could like be at like, midnight, so yeah. never and, know. And who knows? Uh, we might make another video for something else. I don't know. Yeah, we'll see. We'll keep you posted. But that's pretty much it, guys. See you yeah. later.